Hi everyone! So here we have a set I did the other day. Um, they are Sasa Brad. They are um, they were a request from my client. She brought in a picture, so um, I did my best to recreate it for her. Again, sorry about my nails. They are a mess. I actually did them yesterday. Mm, so I still have about 15 videos to edit with my crappy nails on, but then after that you'll start seeing halfway decent nails, hopefully. I'm praying, maybe. So I removed her previous set down to a thin clear base, done all my natural nail work prep, yada yada yada. And then coming in, um, I was going to do it with just the glitter, but then I thought, no, I want it super, super bright. So I'm coming in with, oh my god, I can never remember the names of these. This was before I was writing it all down. Useless person. So I'm using HD acrylics, the neons. So I'm using the kind of corally ready one, the yellow and the green in this set. And I'm starting off by doing just a rough ombre on this nail. I'm not too bothered about getting it perfect because I'm going to be putting glitter over the top. So I just wanted to get just a little wash of colour there. And then I'm going to come in with Cray Cray Coral, which is from the new Neon Lights collection available on my website now. And then I'm going to come in with YOLO Yellow. So these are two of the new Neon collection and I'm just going to make uh, an ombre over that um, acrylic base. So when I'm happy with that glitter ombre, I'm just going to leave that to set into place a bit. So I'm moving on to the next nail. I'm applying that thin clear base again. Um, and then once again, I'm going to do an ombre with the same colours. But this one I'm not going to put glitter on because I'm going to be doing um, some freehand like gel art on top. Um, I want a good ombre, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Again, because I know there's going to be quite a lot of design work on top of this nail. So... If I wasn't doing design work, I would make sure that the ombre was absolutely perfect spot on. But when you're going to be doing loads of design work, it does kind of hide any imperfections. And again, it can just save a little bit of time in the salon. So taking time to make sure there's a nice blend between the two colours, but it doesn't need to be like super mega perfect. Then going back to that little finger and capping that in clear acrylic, making sure all of that glitter goes nice and matte so I know it's all been encapsulated and it's not going to be cut into when I file. And same again on the next nail, and then capping this in clear acrylic.
Then moving on to the other two nails, I'm then applying my thin clear base. Now with this one we're going to be using the green and yellow and I'm just going to mix up a bit so I'm going to put the yellow on the inside um, and then the green on like the outside of the nail so that the yellow has switched sides between the two different colours. Does that make sense? So in these two the yellow looks like it's touching but then the other ones, yeah. So yeah, words. Um, <laughs> then I'm gonna come in with the green. Um, and again, this is going to be one that I want uh, an okay ombre, but I'm going to be doing artwork on top so it doesn't need to be super mega perfect. Then moving on to the index finger and this I'm going to do the same as the little finger but obviously with the green instead of the coral. So I'm doing a very basic ombre which is more of a wash of colour underneath in yellow and green and then I'm going to use um, YOLO yellow and groovy green. Is it groovy green? Pretty sure it's groovy green. Um, glitters to create an ombre on top. And then just while that glitter is setting in place, I've gone back to that middle finger and I'm going to apply my um, capping layer. And then I'm going to cap the glitters as well once they've had a chance to set into place. Then on the thumb I've applied um, my thin clear base and then I'm going to do a three-way ombre. So I'm starting with the yellow in the middle because I figured this would be the easiest one to blend between the two. And then on one side I'm going to do the green and the other side I'm going to do the coral and then I'm going to pop a bit of glitter over the top of this too.
when I'm all finished I filed those nails in um, then I used uh, just an acetone soaked lint free wipe just to wipe over the nails so that there's a nice smooth surface and then I'm just going to create this squared effect so the design was of um, some larger squares and then inside a few of the larger squares um, cut into four squares um, so yeah I'm going to use my accents gel play for this I like using gel because it just means if I make mistakes it's a little easier to correct in between cures and stuff um, and I like that it gives like a really nice highly pigmented finish so I'm going to do the black design first Doing the same design on both nails, just mixing up where I put the smaller squares on each one. And for this design I'm making sure I cure in my lamp in between each stage so that's getting a one minute cure. I'm then going to come in with my white and I'm just going to add a little bit of highlighting into the design.
And then once the white is cured, I'm coming in with a little bit of my uh, nail glue. And then I'm using these, I honestly don't know what colour these are. These are Swarovski crystals. Um, I think they're like a smoke, a black smoke they might be. They're like a crystal grey. So I'm just adding these onto the glitter nails, just as like the little crystal tiaras that I like to do. Just wanted to add a little extra bling and kind of bring that the, the darker colours kind of all together. Um, because obviously there's black on the middle nails, so I wanted to put a little dark colour on the outer nails as well. once I've finished with all the crystals and then going to apply my top gloss so using my CJP top gloss making sure I get nice and close to those Swarovski crystals but I don't want to um, cover them over applying over the gel design too and then this will go in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds And then once they're all cured and cooled down, popping on some cuticle oil. And we're all done guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm trying to do a little more freehand art, more gel art, just trying things I don't normally do. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!